Hi folks, Thomas Sinson here with thomasinson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today I am still here in the gym answering your questions, recording between mail trucks coming by, crazy. Um, so today's question comes in from a uh, viewer. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section here below and also subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications. So today's question comes in around data scientists and it's specifically all right, uh, do data scientists code, right? So we've talked about the roles of a data engineer, we've talked about the roles of a machine learning engineer, and even data scientist, but where, you know, where, where is that fine line between how much data scientists code? And so we're gonna talk about that and you know, talk about some of the tools that they use and then try not to say depends. I know, I know you're like, man, he's gonna say depends. But we're gonna try not to say that. So does a data scientist code? The answer is yes. I mean, data, data scientists, you know, for the most part, they're, 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 they're able to code. Now the tools that they use, you know, how much, how much are they coding? You know, that's, that, that's really gonna be, you know, dependent on, didn't say depends, dependent. It's gonna be dependent on the role that they're in, right? And if they have a data engineer or a machine learning engineer that can help them, right? Put their code in production and, you know, final, finalize some of the things that they're doing. So um, I will say I've worked on a team before where, you know, Data, you know, from a data scientist perspective, uh, they were primarily using uh, MATLAB, right? They were using MATLAB or Excel. And then when we pushed it to Hadoop, you've talked, you know, you've heard me talk about it um, many times on here that, you know, a little bit harder because, you know, once we're doing that, you know, in a solo environment on their machine, and then we went to a distributed algorithms at the time we were using Mahout. So going from Excel or MATLAB to Mahout, uh, we really had to change and tune a lot of different things. And so that's where my expertise as a data engineer and developer was able to help out um, and keep running the same job like a hundred times. But <laughs> that's things have changed with TensorFlow and a lot, and a lot of other tools since that time. But so yes, the data your data scientist will code. It's going to depend on what they're going to use. So some of the common tools, like I said, MATLAB. I mean, even Excel, right? Uh, you know, depending on what you're working on, and I mean, if it's a big data big data project, might not be using right in, in any some in some of the other uh, larger tools. But then you also have R, right? You have Python, which we've talked about and we love here. We also have Scala or Scala. You know, I always say it wrong, but there are many different tools that data scientists use whenever they're, whenever they're coding. That doesn't mean that they're doing all the coding, right? This is back to the you know dividing lines of the roles and where they are. So you know, whenever we're talking about you know standing up the environment, pushing things out to production, and even even doing some of the heavier lifting, like I will say, operationalizing of the code, right? So getting it ready, you know, past the training phase, and some of the other some of the other pieces that you're really bringing it into, hey, it's gonna support this dashboard, it's gonna do you know this piece, or even some of the ETL jobs, still gonna still gonna to come to us as the uh, machine learning engineers or the uh, data engineers, just depending you know on that role. Still not saying depends, it's depending on that role. So for the most part, to answer the question simply, yes, your, your data scientist is gonna code. How much of that coding is really in depth? If you think about like, you know, are they, are they doing the job of coding? I would say no, I mean, that would just be, that would just, you know, that would just be kind of what I've seen. And if you think about some of the reasons that we have the tools that we have now, like why was Pig created? You know, why, why do we have a Python API in Spark? You know, when Spark is, you know, we can do Spark in Java, right? You know, why do we have a Scala API in Spark? It's, you know, because of the fact that, you know, we want to, we, we want to use a higher level language so that data analysts, data scientists, you know they can they can run their code and they can do it without having to worry about Java and some of the, some of the other components there. So yes, data scientists code. How much do they code is going to depend on their partner, machine learning or data engineer. So your data scientist is not going to replace the data engineer or machine learning engineer, right? We're all on the same team here. Uh, we're we're not trying to compete back and forth. And if I had to choose a side, I'd say machine learning engineers and data engineers. But I'm very biased, so. That's all for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section here below. And make sure you hit subscribe and ring that bell. And I will see you again on the next episode of Big Data, Big Questions.